Okay everyone, so now we are creating our Windows application where we will make a program where we can switch between two forms. Let's say we are having the form 1 and form 2. In between we can switch. And yes, here we are going to use the show and hide method. So show method for showing the form and hide method for hiding the form. So first of all, we know that we are having the form 1 here. Now, as we are switching between the forms, so here in the project, we know that the name of project is switch forms. I'm going to right click, add and going to the windows form. So automatically it is selecting the option of windows form and here automatically the name is windows form form 2.vb. So I'm clicking here, add. Now in my project, there are two forms, form one and form two. You assume that, let's say if you're developing a Facebook application, now you are having the first login page. Now if the login page is correct, you can move to the second form, which is the actual form of the Facebook. So similar way, you can design the two forms here. Now I'm going on the coding of form one. So this is the designing part. I want that I should be mentioning here form one. So there I am putting a label. Now I'm giving them the name, let's say form one. So this is the name I have given. Now, afterward, I am having one button. So I'm going to scroll down and take the button here. So this first button I am taking, this is button one. Let's say I'm changing the name that is the switch. So switch between, it is switching the form, going to the other form. And I'm taking one more button. Let's say it is for height. So I'm using this height. Now, instead of switch, I can use the name show also. So let's say I'm using the show because the method is the show. That's why I have given the logical name show and hide. Now, these are the two buttons on which I want to perform the coding. Similarly, I'm going on the form two here on the form two designing same way. I'm putting the label here and I'm giving the name, let's say form two. So this is the form two. Now afterward, again, I am dragging one more button here. Now this button, I am again giving the name, let's say show. And afterward, I am putting one more button here. And let's say the name I am giving is height. So these are the two forms which are ready with me, form one and form two. Now what I want that, if I click on this show button, then form two should be visible. Now, so double click on the form show button. So here, button one underscore click under the form one. So here in the form one on show button, I am double clicking and I want that when I click on this one, form two should be shown. So I will simply write form two dot show. So simply by writing, I am just showing the form two. automatically the brackets are coming because show is the function. So here on this button, we have done the coding that means form two show. Now hide, hide means if I want that myself should be hide means I am on the form one and I want to hide myself. You know that whenever we are doing the coding for the same form or the active form, then we write me. So me dot height. So that means I am going to hide myself. So now I have done the coding on form one. I have not done any of the coding on the form two. So here I am going to run this and afterward it, I can see that form one is displayed. So if I click on the show, the form two is now visible. And if I click on the height, there is nothing going on. But if I click on show and hide, nothing is going to happen because form two coding I have not performed yet. So I'm closing it. Now afterward, I'm going on the form two design part. Here, I again want, if I click on the show, then form one should be visible. So I double click over there. So the coding will come afterward. We can see that it is not going to show the code because the project is already running. So I'm going to stop this project. Now I am double clicking show. So here you can see that on the form two button one and the form two button one is for the show. So I'm going to show the 
form 1 from here so form 1 dot show so here you can see that I am going to provide the show function afterward again I am going on the form 2 on the height in the height I want to hide myself so I will say me dot hide so here I am hiding myself now you can see that I have cross linked two forms in the form 1 this show will be going to open the form 2 and this hide will be going to hide itself similarly if I go on the form 2 this show will be going to show the form 1 and this hide will be hiding itself so I will click on the play button that is the start debugging so I am having the form 1 if I simply click on hide then you can see that nothing is here but the project is still running so in that case you have to click stop debugging because if I click over there on the hide button the form 1 is hide afterward there is nothing to perform in the project but if I go on the show I am clicking here now you can see that the form 2 is visible now if I clicking again on the show of form 2 nothing is working because form 1 is already on the environment but if I just cross it then afterward I can go back and run this project so there is the option so here I am going clicking on the show then afterward if I am hiding the form 1 then I can click on the show the form 1 is again back I am hiding the form 2 so form 2 is hide again show so form 2 is showing so this way with the help of hide method I can hide the forms and show method I can show the other forms so this is the one way by which we can switch between the forms now there is another way by which we can switch the forms now let's say I don't want to create these two forms I only want to work with one form let's say I am going on the form 1 so this is the form 1 design I want that this form replica should be created there should not be form 2 which I am creating the replica should be created so what I am doing I am putting a button here now this button what I am doing I am putting the name that is replica now in this replica it is going to create the copy of it itself now if I double click over there in this replica I want that my same copy should be created so for there I am creating an object dim a as new form 1 whenever we use the new keyword it replify that it is the object so form one object just like we declare the variable we know that dim a as integer so a is the variable here we are saying dim a as new form one so that means a is acting like the object of form one and a is having all the features by which we can control the form one so here we are saying a dot show so we have created one variable of form 1 and it is showing a dot show now if I run this project now you can see that replica again replica is coming you can see that again form 1 again again this form 1 so many replica how many you want to create you can create that so this is how we can create the replica of the same form because you can see that the same object is keep on working and with the same object we can create the different different replica replica means the copy so in the screen you can see that multiple copies of the forms are created and if you want to hide them obviously you know this hide will work so if I click on the hide these hide will work these replicas are going to hide one by one so that is how these are the two methods by which we can work and switch between the forms one way you create two forms and switch between them with the help of button second way you just create the replica of the forms and afterward you hide them or the switch between them so that is how we can use the show and hide method and we can switch between the forms